I'm going to continue second part of the video. Previously, I did, I find this distance 11.55 meter from here to here or from here to here. Basically, I hit a ball with a velocity 25 meter per second and 37 degree about the horizontal. Now, I am going to cal calculate time of the flight. So from here to here, how long does it take? Or from here to here. So for this calculation, I use again this formula, delta y between point 0.1 and this is point 0.4 or point 0.4, 1, 4, equal V1 Y plus delta T 1 4 plus 1 over 2 so this is G delta T 1 4 square ok delta T delta Y 1 4 basically from here to here so this displacement so it will be negative 50 meters this is the reference level so zero so level of this one negative 50 so we write here negative 50 equal v1 y equal 1505 so i don't write the unit i don't have much time much room delta t 1 4 plus 1 over 2 G will be negative down 9.8 times delta T 1 4 between point 1 and 4 ok so this is the formula when I rearrange this formula everything to the left so I get 4.9 delta t 1 4 square minus 15 0 5 delta t minus 50 equals 0 so this is basically just quadratic formula you use quadratic formula so I will not show this is very easy for this level so we get two answer 5 Zero eight second or negative two second. So reject negative two seconds. It means a ball hits the ground before I kicking the ball. Then this is not possible. So this is the answer. Five zero eight seconds. Ball from here to here or from here to here we calculated time of the flight so I would like to calculate horizontal range or in other words horizontal displacement from 1 to 4 basically from this from here to here what is the horizontal displacement since horizontal component is constant velocity, in another word, uniform motion, so we can use this formula to find delta x 1 4 between from 1 to 4, okay, 1 to 4 equal v sub x times delta t. 1, 4, so when we go next line, delta x, 1, 4, v, x, always constant, horizontal component, so this is 20 meter per second, time will be between 1 and 4, 5, 0, 8 seconds, this one, so delta x, 1, 4, will be 101 60 meters so for
horizontal displacement ball to ball from the point I kick the ball to the point uh, this point is the point uh, ball hits the ground the last question what is the velocity at impact it means so ball is going this way red ball so just before hit just before hit the ground what is the final velocity so we are going to use this formula so when I rearrange this formula for this equation for v for y equal v1 y plus g times delta t 1 4 so v for y will be so v1 y 15 0 5 plus minus 9.8 so I don't use limit again to save room so time is 5.08 second so when I do this calculation I get V for Y will be negative 34.73 meter seconds since because, uh, because negative negative is down so 34.73 meter per second down so this is the y component of the final velocity so when I draw this here so horizontal component constant basically 20 meter second vertical component a little bit longer than this one so this is 34.73 so we sub for basically this one this is v4 okay so how can we calculate the magnitude of v4 equal so we use Pythagorean theorem. So this is 20, this triangle, right triangle, 90 degree. So basically 20 square plus 34.73 square square root. Then magnitude of the velocity I get 40.06 meter per second. So magnitude 40.0.6 meter per second. How can I find this angle? Let's call this theta 4. So theta sub 4 will be tangent negative 1. Okay, 34, 40, 3, 73 over. So when I do this calculation, I get approximately 60 degree. So basically, final velocity will be okay. There is okay. I can write here v for equal 40 zero, zero 06 meter per second then 60 degree below horizontal horizontal so this is the uh, final velocity just before it strikes the ground I mentioned before the path taken by the red ball is parabola so I would like to prove this so delta x goes uniform motion so v x times delta t okay so delta t 
from here delta x over vx so delta x over horizontal component of velocity is 20 meter per second okay so delta y will be will this formula v1 okay v1 y times delta t plus 1 over 2 g delta t square okay so delta y will be v1 y is the vertical component of initial velocity 15.05 positive okay delta t i replace this one delta x over 20 plus 1 over 2 minus 9.8 because gravitational acceleration down so delta t again this one delta x over 20 square okay if i work on this equation we get this one zero seven five three delta x minus zero zero one two two five delta x square so as you know this is the formula for a parabolic equation in fact you don't need to know this this is just extra so horizontal displacement will be independent variable so vertical displacement will be the dependent variable okay thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day